so we were discussing about environmental clearance we saw the meaning of environmental clearance yesterday it is actually the permission to be obtained isn't it the permission to be obtained for certain projects uh, when we are going to start certain projects we need to get certain permission or certain clearance from the ministry of environment and forest okay then uh, these are the this is what i told you certain type of projects and the main purpose of doing this uh, getting this clearance is to ensure that the project is not creating any harmful impact on the environment okay then this also we saw yesterday uh, certain uh, examples of few projects which require permission then this also we saw yesterday even though if you if your project is not of a, a danger type or a hazardous type still uh, the location where you are going to set up your your project that is also important so when you are setting up if your project or your um, unit or your plant in certain areas in these areas please go through these areas that time also we have to take the permission from the ministry of environment and forest okay now another one new term you will learn over here that is environmental impact assessment what is eia it is commonly in short it is known as eia okay environmental impact assessment everywhere in short it is known as eia okay eia is commonly used for ensuring optimal use of natural resources for sustainable development uh, it was introduced in india initially for river valley projects in 1978 79 the scope has been enhanced to cover other developmental sectors too it also considers various agencies for its support like state pollution uh, control boards local government bodies etc so what is this eia environmental impact assessment it is actually a very important management tool okay it is a very important management tool for ensuring that the natural resources is used properly for sustainable development that is when whenever we are setting up a certain type of industries we should require we should uh, ensure that eia is conducted okay and this was introduced initially for river valley projects in 1978 79 okay gradually this this eia extended to other projects also okay now apart from this what you have to remember is that it is not only eia doing the activity alone it also takes its support from state pollution control board local governmental bodies local governmental agencies etc what is this governmental bodies agency etc like local government means the municipal authorities the uh, uh, gram panchayat villages taluks etc they also help in conducting the environmental impact assessment okay now these are the projects which are covered under eia that is as i told it's similar to what we had discussed earlier thermal power mining atomic power airports uh ports harbors rail road highways bridges public sector undertakings etc which is costing more than 50 crore okay i hope this is clear now 